yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and let us go and create our response object over here so for that let's go to our DTO and let's create the new file and let's call this one as the to do's the uh, response dot the dot file and let's go to our uh, postman over here and once you make the request to the get the list of the uh, to do's over here so you'll get the response back over here and with that what i will do over here is i'll just copy all of this content from here and let us go back to the our uh, service that we'll be using which is of the app.quicktap.io to parse all of our json object into a data class and you can just paste it your adjacent content over here and then you can just go and select the uh, dart from here and let's go to the other and let's select the phrase over here because we will be using a phrase over here and let's copy this particular content from here and uh, let's give a name i guess let's give a name as the uh, to do's r-e-s-p-o-n-s-e to do response over here and let's grab this one from here and uh, let us go back to our uh, class over here and let's paste it over here so first of all what we need to do is we need to uh, okay so let's rename this one with something different over here so i guess we can give a name some to do's response item i guess to do's right uh to do's and let's give over here response item over here that may be a better name instead of a uh, datum or something so let's change the name over here and over here too and then over here too I guess that should be fine and we have another one is the link so we will be not using this one so just remove that one we can remove that because we are not going to use it so let's try to uh, give a proper intent over here and for uh, this one too let's give a proper intent over here and uh, let's make all of this as a, a required field for now so i guess it will be of the uh, required field so let's make all of this as a required r e q u i r required and let's remove all of this the uh, nullable type from here so we don't require this one as a nullable type and we can also remove this one and uh, this one too so for this one we need to pass in the json key because the uh, response type is a different one so if you take a json response key is a different one so we need to map that one over here so for that i'll just add a json key over here and uh, let's give a name over here the name will be of the uh, created underscore add right and then we also need uh, this one of the add the json key over here and then the name and then we'll make use of the, the, the updated underscore at and that should be fine over here and once we have that i guess we are good to go and i guess the user id should also be a uh, map with the json key so let us use the uh, name over here that will be of the uh, user underscore id and once we have that let's go on to the top over here uh, this is not required right so we can just uh, remove that one from there and also uh, let's change this name of uh, the list of the data to the data over here and let's not make this one as a nullable type and let me erase this one first of all so let us give a proper intent for this one and over here to let us give a proper intent for this one and in current page uh, let's remove with nullable type 
and let's give a default value for this one at the uh, default and let's make this one as the zero and current page and let's copy this one from here and the list of the response item let's make this one as a default of the empty list so since this is returning the list so we'll just make it as a empty list over here and this url i don't require so i can remove from page last page and i guess we don't require that so from page is not required i guess so let's remove that and uh, i guess we will require the last page and the url is not required next page url path is also not required so just remove that and we'll keep the uh, per page and previous url is also not required just remove that one and i guess we are good to go over here too and the total just two is also i guess not required just remove this one from here so we'll just keep the current page data last page per page and the total so let's give a default value for all of these two so this will be of the uh, integer type so let's give a default value of the zero for all of this and we can remove the nullable type from here so let's remove the nullable type and i guess that should be fine and let us take a look on the file name so let's make this one as a to do's over here to do's and other than that i guess we are good to go and once we have all of this let's try to uh, generate the code over here so for that let's run our code generator tool run the command over here and let's wait for okay so we got some error over here let's take a look what is the error that we are getting over here i guess i run the run command over here it should be of the uh, build and uh, let's take a look so let's wait for it to complete and once the code is generated we are good to go so now our file is ready and let's create the another file over here and that will be of the uh, just a to do res response dot the dot file so this will be for the single item we are also getting a single item and for that i guess i'll just copy the code from here so let me just copy all of this code from here and uh, let us paste it over here and we just need to uh, rename this one so this will be of a to do response and this one should be also of the to do response over here and to do response and then the to do response over here and once we have all of this uh, let's go down this will be of a to do response and I guess I can remove this one in the single response we will not have this object so I can remove that one and if you go to the API call so once you make the uh, single response so let's say if I want to get a single object and you will see that we don't have all of those we just have the ID and it's a list right so it is a list but if I get a single item uh, if I try to update some item over here i will get the a uh, single item so this is what we require so uh, let's go back over here and i'll just need the i uh, to do response over here and just remove this one to do not the to do's it should be of a to do response and then to do response let's copy this one and replace it over here and let's replace it over here too and here and also we need to replace it over here i guess that should be fine and let's go and take a look over here and uh, to do response and here it should be of the name should be changed so it should be of a to do response not the to do's and to do okay i guess that should be fine for us for now and uh, let's go and check the name okay so let's try to generate uh, the code one more time over here for this one and once the code is generated we are good to go so finally we, we will require a one more and for that let's go and create the uh, to do over here and that will be of the uh, del delete r e s p o n response dot the 
that file so once we delete uh, a to do we will get some response so let's go over here and let's try to delete some uh, response from here and i guess let's go over here and let us try to uh delete so let's try to delete a record from here and uh, for that i'll just pass in the id and something a different id over here and the user id to be deleted and here error that okay doesn't exist so let's say we just say a three over here and it also doesn't exist over here too let me try to send some record so you can see we get this one so deleted it should be of a true over here so just copy this one and you can go to the quick type over here and you can just paste that particular response over here and it should be of a to do delete response right so to do delete response over here and now uh, let's copy the code from here and uh, once you copy the uh, code from here let's go back to our let me just minimize this one and let's go back over here and let's let us paste it over here so we have a to to do delete response and let's just rename this one to the same name over here so it, it must be of the same name otherwise you cannot generate that particular file and for this one let's just keep this one as a required field so uh, R -E -Q -U -I -R -E -D required right and uh, that should be fine or else you can also make it as a default value if you don't want to have this as a required so d-e-f-a-u-l-t default and the default value will be of a false for this one and once we have the default value right so we are good to go over here and let us take a look over here let's just try to arrange the uh, uh, intent over here and i guess that should be fine over here so once we have uh, all of this let's try to generate the uh, code for this one so let's run the code generator tool over here and uh, i guess we should be good to go i guess we can remove this code from here we are not going to use that and now i guess our uh, response object is created successfully so we have created the uh, response object for our list of the uh, items or the list of the to do's and another one is for the single to do's and also one is for the uh, delete the uh, to do's over here so uh, i guess that's all for this uh, lesson and um, let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day